let's do some Raylan here. All right, Raylan the Kyrie warrior. They should have put like evil like right here, but that's okay. Uh, Raylan the keen, Raylan the brave, Raylan the unyielding. Once a beacon of light in Yandar's army, the ominous amulet about her neck now signals a new sinister master of her mind and heart. But all may not be lost. The will-bending magic of Kimoshi has been beaten before. So they kind of mentioned Kimoshi here. I hope, I hope one of the um, like, uh, like version, like second version of miniatures that they'll release is a new Kimoshi, one that will work well with Maro. Um, because I mean, the Kimoshi right now is nice, but it you know it's not really used much for tournaments because she doesn't really do much. Um, I hope they make a new version of Kimoshi that's better playable with uh, with, with Maro. Um, the will bending magic of Kimoshi has been beaten before. As Raylan defies the amulet's influence from within, her allies work tirelessly from without to rid the world of the necklace's power once and for all. Okay. So, I mean, this is the same story as before, although I don't think as well known, um, but it is something we've seen before. Um, so, and it shows that she is actually good and she's gone being forced against her will to be evil. And I mean, I'll say this, th this is just one gripe I have, and this is me as a storyteller. I think a more um, deep a character arc would be for her to have chosen to be um, going on Ukar's side and there could be some very good reasons why and I'm actually gonna probably I'll probably do that type of arc in, in um, my Tales of Valhalla storyline because mine's non-canon um, and I don't know for me it's just like okay we've already been there done that um, but I'll see where they go with the with the side of 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 this lore. Um, I mean, like I said, it's a small gripe, but I mean, Renegade can do what they want. You know, it's it's their IP. All right, let me take a look at this. Okay, Raylan the Kiri Warrior, terrifying aura. While opponents' figures are within four clear spites, sight spaces of Raylan the Kiri Warrior, they lowered their defense value by one. Okay, twist the blade. I like this one. When if Raylan inflicts at least one wound or normal attack, or a leaving engagement attack, she inflicts one additional wound. Hundred points, six life. Not bad. Move a six, range of one, attack a three, and she's got flying defense of three. Now this is interesting. I, I like how within the game, like Raylan, um, and Lovey attack are kind of like have to go hand in hand. And from a storytelling perspective, actually. Um, that makes it more interesting because Lovey Attack could be like um, Raylan's, how would I put it, um, Warden basically. So, so having them kind of being to bond together well while while playing the game um, within the story itself, um, she could be like making sure that Raylan stays in line. Um, and stays on her side and, and and is not trying to break free of uh of the amulet um so that part i can kind of understand 